Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about making things extra easy. Summer is busy, but you know, summer also means a lot of company, last minute visitors, uh, cookouts and things like that. Brenda is here from the Bulk Food Shop, and she has brought along all sorts of different dip mixes. You need a dip in a hurry. This is like a two second deal, right? For sure, most of these are just mixed with uh, eight ounces of sour cream. Believe it or not, we have over 34 different kinds of dip mixes, whether you're dipping fruit, uh, vegetables, um, bagel chips, or pretzels, whatever it is, we can help you out. And not only do they have different dip mixes, um, they're really cheap. So I know sometimes you go to those more gourmet stores or um, those house parties, and these dip mixes are like, you know, for one little batch, you're paying. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> expensive. Um, that's what the bulk food store is all about, um, saving you money. Brenda buys things in bulk and then repackages them themselves, stuff that you're never gonna, you're not gonna be able to find anywhere too, which is really cool. Exactly, you know what, um, I, the people that I get this from, bulk food store suppliers, actually uh, do all the research development and they create all of these mixes. So again, you're just not gonna find these in a grocery store. You have I've to been, come to a bulk food store to find things like this. And if you haven't been to Brenda's place, um, we are just, every time she comes, we just really kind of scratch the surface. So um, it's a great way to buy spices in bulk. It's a great way to buy sugars, oatmeals, um, uh, just you name it, she's got it in bulk. A great way to save money and it's fresher that way. When things tend to sit around, it's not such a good thing. They, sure. they lose their punch. So uh, let's go through some of these dip mixes. Um, I was smelling a couple of them that smelled amazing. This one is a pesto dip and sauce. And then in the back, it just basically says what to add. And in this case, you just, like you said, add sour cream and some of this dip mix. And you only need um, a quarter cup of the dip mix. So this, Four batches in there. Four batches, 319. So yep. this is gonna be perfect for all summer long. And it, it smells like Parmesan cheese and pesto and garlic. Ooh, yum. Pretty excited about this one. What are some of the other savory dip mixes that um, are some of the savory favorites? Ones, um, some, if you like a little spice, oh, uh, this yeah. is called a perfect pepper dip mix. I gotta smell this. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah, kind of like a uh, kind of like a taco dip type of thing. Just Ooh, a little bit um, yum. A little bit cream. stronger. Cream cheese you can add in this. Um, oh, all sorts of stuff. I have a Southwest dip mix. Got lost here in the uh, in the shuffle, but the Southwest dip mix is it's awesome because you can just mix it up, spread it on a plate, put your um, your lettuce, your tomatoes, make it like a big taco salad, um, and just serve it with the uh, tortilla chips. Yum! This is a sun-dried tomato and basil dip. I'm just in scent heaven here. It smells so great. Oh my goodness gracious. Cucumber dill dip mix, um, which is perfect. A garlic and herb, um, a ranch, you know, I can't have enough ranch around the house. You use it all the time. Exactly. In fact, we have a cheddar mm. ranch as well. If you're a cheese lover, I just made uh, roasted potatoes in the oven this weekend and just, you know, so they're versatile as well. Um, some people put it in their soups, but again, roasting with potatoes or um, just lots of variety. A French onion dip mix. I could just keep going on and on. Um, lots of really great stuff here. Now for the fruit, dip mixes. Let's talk about some of those. So you serve it with fruit uh, or dip and people will eat it, whether it be veggies or I love putting out some sort of a dip with some fruit, fruit kebabs and the kids just go crazy over it. Yeah, for sure. We've got, um, and when it says natural on our label, that means it's made with natural ingredients um, like um, unrefined sugars and just um, ingredients that are not processed, you know, as much as, as what the, so they're the store. For you. So this Absolutely. is a wild blueberry dip mix. And mm -hmm. again, in the back, you just add, you can use some cream cheese or some sour cream. There's a couple different recipes in here. And then you add a little bit of the, the mix and, you know, let the kids have at it. Uh, mandarin orange, natural strawberry. Yum. And what I like to do with this too, if you just mix it just with uh, cream cheese, it's a great bagel spread. Oh, I like that so, idea. That's again, a great very versatile, idea. Natural black raspberry, a really good one too. And again, the recipes are on the bottom. It'll tell you how to make the dip as well as it usually gives you another thing to do with it. Fun. So again, just a lot of different variety and fun for summer with the fruit. Caramel especially. apple dip, there's a lemon cheesecake dip, a vanilla bean dip, or you can use it as dessert. So. Okay, we've talked about making the dips with some of these mixes. Now we're actually gonna show you how you can whip up with these same mixes a really quick, easy dessert. We're using a, a key lime dip. This is our key lime pie dip mix. Okay. Um, and we, I've created this, uh, my supplier actually, a great no-bake quick pie. Um, you start out with eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Okay. And then we're gonna put in eight ounces of sour cream. Okay. And I always like to, some people whisk it. I like to use the, the blender, at least then it gets even smoother. Okay. And then we're gonna put one and three quarter cups of the key lime natural dip mix in there. So it's gonna have a real pretty color. Right, we're gonna mix that up. Okay. So while I'm doing this, tell everybody how people can find you, get a hold of you, okay. and, and your store locations. 
Absolutely. Uh, believe it or not, it's hard to believe we've been open uh, 10 years in Greenville on July 1st. And just a little plug here, all of these dips will be 15% off the entire month of July. Stop in for all of big in-store specials. Cool. We're located on Highway 15 in Greenville. And now we've been open seven months uh, right here in Ashwaubenon down the road at 790 Hanson Road. So two locations, one in the Green Bay area and one just outside of Appleton and Greenville. And Allow some time. They do homemade natural peanut butter. You grind the peanuts fresh. We do right there in house. Wonderful honey, vanilla, all sorts of great stuff. Okay, so now right. we fold this in. So, yep, we would normally like just chill this for 10 minutes, but we're going to go ahead and just fold in eight ounces of uh, Cool Whip. Okay. And once we have that folded in, we're just going to pour it in a prepared pie shell and, uh, and then chill for like 30 minutes, cut into slices. You can uh, garnish that with some sliced limes, uh, grated lime on top. So. Um, it just is a great summer dessert, and it just seems like key lime is is very popular for the summertime. It is. It really is light and refreshing. Well, this doesn't get much easier than that. That's it, for it sure. It really doesn't. So at home, you'll mix this a little bit better, but get that all mixed up. Yep. yep. And again, just chill for 20 to 30 minutes, and you've got company coming. You've got a great, uh, nice, fluffy, um, yeah, mousse pie Yum. made with key lime. Yum. What are we making next time, Brenda? Uh, the next time we're on here, we are going to talk about our smoothie mixes Ooh. and, uh, you know, how easy smoothies are to make with fruit and things, but I even have a, an easier way to make them. I like it. All right. And you can get the recipe for this pie, by the way, on our website. Um, go visit Brenda uh, at the Bulk Food Shop. I think you're going to fall in love with a new way of, of shopping and keeping things extra fresh and save some money, too. So coming up, we're making smoothies, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back.